Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Past week we have seen that Jacob, Joseph's father, was on the deathbed. But before that we have also seen that Jacob take courage and blessed Joseph's two sons, that is Abraham and Manasseh. On Abraham he put it the right hand and on Manasseh he put it the left hand. After that what happened we have to see today. After that did he really die as told to his son Joseph before. But after that we have to see what happened today in the new chapter of Genesis that is 49th chapter. So let us start this session with a prayer. Our Heavenly Father, past week we have learned so many things about Jacob and his family, my father, about his son also, my father. Today also we are going to read something about Jacob and his family in Genesis chapter 49. Help us to go through the chapter and clearly read it and understand it and help me to preach and help them to listen. In the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So after that he blessed that Joseph's son Abraham and Manasseh, he blessed with his right hand Abraham, we have seen that, but Joseph didn't like that and he used to telling his father or he with his own hand did the movement to make his father's right hand fall on Manasseh, but it didn't happen because Jacob is bigger than Joseph and indeed he is his father, so that thing didn't take place, after that what happened we will see, now Jacob's last words to his sons, after that he was thinking that he going to die but after that he is again waking up and telling his sons some last words they, that they should know before Jacob is going to die. What are that last words we will see. Now his father Jacob is revealing one one character of each son one by one he is revealing every character of every son we can see that. And Jacob called his sons and said gather together that I may tell you what shall befall you in the last days. Now, about one one son, Jacob is telling to everyone, Gather together and hear you sons of Jacob and listen to Israel your father. Now about Rebuin he is telling, You are my firstborn, my might and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. About Rebuin he is saying, his firstborn son I think, Unstable as water, you shall not excel. Because you went up to your father's bed, then you defeated it. He went up to my coach. Then after that, Simon and Levi. This son is telling. Simon and Levi are brothers. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. Let not my soul enter their counsel. Let not my honor be united to their assembly. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they hamstring an ox. Cursed be their anger, for it is films, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. He is saying about Simon and Levi that they are very angry person. They cannot control their anger. Judah, you are he whom your brother shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's children shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's well. From the peri, my son, you have gone up. He bows down, he lies down as a lion. And as a lion who shall rose him. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh comes. Now he's telling about Judah that he is a strong man. I think he can beat his enemies easily. He can hold. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Like that he's telling. And to him shall be the obedience of the people. All people may obey Judah. Like that he's telling his father to Judah. Binding his donkeys to the wine and his donkey's cloth to the choice wine. He washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. His eyes are darker than wine and his teeth whiter than milk. Zebulun shall dwell by the heaven of the sea. He shall become a heaven for the ships and his border shall adjoin Sidon. Ishachar is a strong donkey lying down between two burdens. He saw that rest was good and that the land was pleasant he bore his soldiers to bear a burden and became a band of slaves now this guy ishachar is the person who carries others burden like that he is introducing his son ishachar here dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of israel dan shall be a serpent by the way a wiper by the path 
that bites the horse's heels so that its rider shall fall backward. I have waited for your salvation, O Lord. Dan is someone who will bite heel something like he is telling. Serpent, he will bite slowly, I think, slow poison. He is a dhoka bane. Means he is the son who cheat. Gad, a troop shall tramp upon him, but he shall trump at last. Bread from Asher shall be rich, and he shall yarl royal denites. Nephthal is a deer let loose. He gives goodly words. Joseph, Joseph is a fruitful bow, a fruitful bow by a well. His branches run over the wall. The archeries have bitterly gripped him, shot at him and hated him. But his bow remained in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel, by the God of your father who will help you, and by the Almighty who will bless you with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lies beneath, Blessings of the breasts and of the womb. The blessings of your father have excelled the blessings of my ancestor. Up to the utmost bound of the everlasting hills, they shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. Benjamin is a ravenous bull. In the morning he shall devour the pair and at the night he shall divide the spoil. All these are the twelve tribes of Israel and this is what their father spoke to them. And he blessed them, he blessed each one according to his own blessing. Now Jacob's death and burial. This is the end of Jacob's story here. We can see after this he will die. Then he charged them and said to them, I am to be gathered to my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephron the Hittite. In the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, which is before Memer in the land of Canaan, which Abraham brought with the field of Ephraim, the Hittite as a possession for a burial place. There they buried Abraham and Shara his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah his wife. And there I buried Leha. The field and the cave that is there were purchased from the sons of Heth. And when Jacob had finished commanding his sons, he drew his feet up into the bed and breathed his last and was gathered to his people. So we have seen the same word Jacob is telling to his son at the beginning he told his son Joseph that you need to bury me in the land of Canaan from where my ancestors were buried like Abraham, Isaac, Shara and all these persons were buried there you will bury me not in the land of Egypt again this verse is telling to all of his sons after that we have seen before that we have blessed his sons also and we have seen that Jacob is such a good father that he know everything about their son so one one son he is explaining to everyone this Jacob takes care of their sons that's why he know all about their sons may God also help us means fathers who look care of their sons to take care of their sons nicely by knowing their nature how they are that's like Jacob only our heavenly father we have learned so many things from Jacob's life also my father that he is the father who cares for his son. He is the father who knows everything, all things about their sons, what they do, how they are, what is their character. Help us also, my father has a father, to know about our sons, Lord. Lord, help us to take care of them as you take care of us, my father. And help us in every way to guide them as you guide us, my father. In the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.